Uh, so the presentation today is about the use of uh, Earth observation uh, data at the Lens Department of Fiji. Firstly, uh, I would like to greet everyone and I would like to thank you for giving us the opportunity today to elaborate on the use of uh, Earth observation data at the Ministry of uh, Lands and Mineral Resources. Uh, the parts of my presentation, uh, I will just talk about uh, Lens Department as a whole. In, uh, the ministry, and then I uh, will go in deeper uh, to our geospatial division, the game, and then uh, we will uh, discuss on some of the use cases that was uh, used in Fiji using remote uh, sensing, some of the use cases that we did, and the future initiatives or uses of remote sensing data that we would like to, uh, for, to continue on. Um, about the lands department, the Ministry of Lands and Mineral Resources is a key facilitator and contributor to the nation's socioeconomic development uh, within Fiji's vision of building a better Fiji for all. It is uh, responsible for policy formulation, monitoring, and implementation of programs in the areas governing state, land administration, mineral sectors, and Fiji's groundwater resource. There are two parts of uh, the two departments within our ministry, Ministry of Lands and uh, Mineral Resources. The Department of Lands, Department of Lands and Survey is uh, responsible for the effective and efficient administration, development and management of all state land in Fiji. Activities under this program include surveying, mapping, land valuation, development and maintenance of state land and geographic information system. And then we have the Department of Mineral Resources. The Department of Mineral Resources oversees and facilitates development of the country's mineral sector and groundwater resources. It undertakes studies in relation to geographic hazards, minerals, and underground development, and manages the development of mining and quarry sector with the mandate under the Mining Petroleum Quarries, Explosives, and Continental Shelves Act. Uh, on our next slide, the geospatial division within the Ministry of uh, Lands. The geospatial information management division is responsible for providing efficient mapping and aerial photography services to meet the national requirement. And uh, information system to in development and coordinate cadastral and land tenure system. Uh, we provide uh, efficient information and statistics on status and rights to land, support the land reform initiatives. Under Fiji's five to 10 year development plan, the division is tasked with uh, capacity building to develop the Fiji geospatial information system through the National Land Bank and the National Land Register. Uh, we support the uh, development of ETOK and state land to improve access for, for productive purposes, including identification of land for deposit in the land bank through public awareness. And lastly, we strengthen administration of lease processes. And in this very next slide, you will see some of the uses of uh, remote sensing. The division has uh, recently set up a remote sensing unit whose main task is to use satellite imagery to support the department's operation and other government agencies. While we don't have uh, access to multiple imagery or data sets, we use what we, we, we have. An example of work with the other government agencies is the bamboo mapping along the Wainimala River using a 20 meter buffer. And the team uh, used the three approaches to achieve the um, identifying of our bamboo sites in this uh, slide. The first, um, first approach was uh, an approach by a publication by John Ali Swami. Uh, bamboo index derived from, uh, it was calculating the bamboo index derived in his publication, uh, bamboo resource mapping using satellite technology. The second approach that was used uh, was the unsupervised classification method. And the third approach that was used was the manual plotting of bamboo sites. Once we used the three approaches using the satellite images available, uh, the results were then provided to the Ministry of Forestry 
uh, whereby with the recommendation for ground truthing. And on uh, the next slide is the second uh, use of satellite imagery. Some of uh, another use case is a uh, change detection. There are a lot of uh, developments along the Fiji foreshore area. And one of our main, um, main responsibilities in uh, geospatial diffusion is identifying the causes of uh, accretion or erosion. And uh, in this uh, particular case is uh, identifying if the land was reclaimed or whether it was uh, accreted in natural causes, maybe a, a cyclone or a cyclone or a tsunami could have caused this uh, accretion and uh, made the uh, land uh, dried up on mangrove areas. So only by using the satellite imagery, uh, we would be able to identify these uh, and satellite imagery and aerial photographies would be, uh, be able to calculate the change detection and the volume of, uh, of the land. So some of uh, the future initiatives, uh, next slide please. Some of the future initiatives and opportunities for earth observation data use are listed there, state land use planning, administration of fossil leases, monitoring of sand and gravel extraction, and uh, 3D buildings. Uh, we're just uh, some of the key points on how the resources or services can be accessed and used to suit the Fiji or Pacific Islands context. Uh, using this uh, technical expertise, we will be able to analyze the imagery and provide reports that is understood by decision makers for planning and uh, deployment of, uh, re of resources. While uh, we have limited the data sets, uh, we have uh, attended a lot of training on uh, remote sensing, but uh, we need the data set so that we can implement the training that we have undergone in remote sensing. Uh, I've come to the end of my presentation and I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity. Big uh, Minaka from Aspita.